no. <laughs> Here's a few reasons why we usually slip to the outside of a punch. One reason, if Jen throws her jab, if I slip to the inside, she's just going to punch me in the face with her other hand. That doesn't feel very good. So I want to slip to the outside so that I can avoid being attacked by her power side. If she throws with the cross punch, slipping to the outside, exactly the same reason. It Okay guys, so something I want to go over that's super important is I don't want to just slip the punch to slip the punch. Eventually I'm going to get hit and I don't know about you guys, but I don't like getting hit. So we need to have a counter off our slip, ideally every single time. So if she throws her lead punch, I slip and I come up with the kick at the same time. That's your best option. You can slip and then kick but you might as well use your momentum while you got it. So one more time, we're slipping and countering at the same time. So one of the things we do to practice this, guys, is my partner is simply throwing jab, jab, cross, cross. It's a simple motion, continuous, so that I get used to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to start just by moving my head, just getting used to getting out of the way of these punches so that they don't hit me in the face. Once I get a little bit used to that, then I can start adding a counter in there, maybe just a punch to start with. Then as I get more comfortable, guys, I can add my kick in there. So I'm slipping and coming up with my kick. Maybe I'm slipping my punch and then coming up with a kick. You can do all sorts of combinations at that point once you get comfortable. Lastly, guys, as you're slipping, you don't have to just move your head. I can move my body too. I know it's a whole concept that sometimes is like, Mwah! but. We have feet, we can use them. So if she's throwing the punch, I'm not just gonna move my head, I'm gonna shift a little bit. And as I'm doing that, I'm loading myself up to be able to counter properly with a little bit more power than I did before. So guys, if you're working with a partner, I know one for one sounds like a really fantastic idea to really get this drilled in. It's not. It actually is harder that way. Trying to build those connections between the brain and what the body is doing, it's better to do three at a time, or even better yet, set up a timer for like 60 seconds, 90 seconds, you do one round, then you switch. Then you're the attacker and your partner's the defender. Okay, so if Jen throws her cross, I counter, I come up with a single arm clinch. This gives me control, I can bend her over so I can pull her down into a nice strong power knee. So in closing guys, it's always a good idea to slip to the outside of a punch so that I avoid their offense and I can include some of my own. Another way that you can do it slipping to the outside is setting up some really nice sweeps. If that's something you guys want to see, drop a comment down below there and we'll see what we can do for you. Thanks very much to Jen, my partner here. Have yourselves an awesome day.